Okay, so today I'll be talking about univariate data, and basically what that um, what that means is if you look here, uni one variate variable. So univariate data is information that is based on one variable. Um, variables can include things like race or age or height. Um, those are typically the most common ones. Um, the specific type of data that I'll be talking about today is quantitative data. Um, I'll write that here. Quantitative. Sorry, that should be an I. Quantitative. And what that means is that the numbers that you get are, they actually mean something. For example, if I said I have two books, that means, you know, the two actually means that I have two things. Um, on the other hand, something like your phone number, um, it is made of numbers, but, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven doesn't really mean, you know, that um, you have 1,234,567 anything. Um, so quantitative data applies to things like um, the number of siblings you have or the number of leaves on a tree, for example. Um, I know y'all are really curious, probably, about what cuss and BS mean. Um, basically, it's just a method to use um, so that you remember exactly what you want to do when you try to describe univariate data, which is in either histograms or stem and leaf plots, usually. Um, the C stands for center. Uh, let me draw a sample graph here. Um, the center is, of course, just the middle of the graph. It is usually measured by mean or median. Um, in the case, um, if you just had a graph like this, you could probably use the, or I mean, you could use the mean or the median. Um, that, and those, both of those would be really good for describing what the center of this particular graph is. Um, however, if these two were on the same graph, you'd want to be careful about the mean because the, the high numbers here would interfere with the lower numbers here. But there are a lot less of them, so it wouldn't really balance out. And so in this case, the mean would probably uh, be the best description of center. The U stands for unusual features. Um, unusual features are usually gaps. Um, in this graph, you can clearly see that there's a gap between the end of this and the beginning of this. Um, likewise, if you had, if we erase this part and just had a random number out here, um, that would be an outlier, and that would also be quite unusual, and you just want to mention it. Um, say there is an outlier at whatever this number is. Um, the first S stands for shape. Um, there are pretty general um, shapes in AP Stat. Um, generally, you're going to keep it easy when you first start out. This particular shape um, has one mode and the mode is just the number that shows up most often, and it's symmetrical on both sides of that mode. So this is, of course, unimodal, which means one mode, and it's also a special type of graph called the normal distribution. Um, most things in, in nature are um, normally distributed. For example, um, you know, people's heights, one of the... Uh, most classic examples. Um, another example graph is kind of like an M. What that means is just that there are two modes, 
two numbers that show up most often. And um, therefore, it would be called bimodal, bi meaning two. And um, the last type of graph um, is one that almost looks either like a rectangle or, you know, a square. And these, these are called um, uniform graphs. The distribution of all of the numbers are generally the same. Um, the next S stands for spread. And spread just means how far your um, data spreads. Um, the, m most of the time, you are going to use either standard deviation, range, or the IQR to describe this. Um, standard deviation just has you calculate the mean and then add up um, however far all of the other numbers are to that mean. Um, you usually need to have a calculator to find that out. Um, the second type of spread is just range. The highest number minus the lowest number. A lot of times that isn't really descriptive enough um, because you might have an outlier here and then an outlier here. And then you can see that there's there's one one point here and one point here, and the majority of the information is here. But if you if you're talking about spread, then you have to use um, if you're talking about range, sorry, um, high minus low, which would be really um, really kind of different, um, not descriptive of this particular graph. The last one is IQR. It's pretty much range, except that you take the 75 percent percentile and the 25 percentile, generally about that, and you subtract them. So in this case, of course, it would be a lot more descriptive of the graph than the range. And a lot of times that will be the case. It just depends on um, the particular graph that you're talking about. So the BS just means B specific. When you're describing a graph, you definitely want to mention the specific numbers. Um, of associated with the graph and the units. Um, let's say that this is a graph of, of family income in the suburbs. So when you talk about center, you want to say the average family in the suburbs makes this many dollars. Um, definitely make sure that you put dollars there. And um, for unusual features, if we're talking about this outlier, then you want to say there is an outlier at this many dollars, the particular number. And that just helps with the grader to know that you know um, what an outlier is and you know that you're not just make you're not just putting something in there just um, you know just to sound smarter. Um, so that is pretty much it. Um, so until next time.